warm-ups, warm-ups. Let's go for DDR Ace since I just expanded this playlist and play something that I actually know isn't suicidal. Oh, I love uh, base to base. It's my go-to song if I'm playing uh, one more. Uh, if I'm playing extra stage, extra stage only permits three misses on the fourth miss, or anything worse than a than a great or a good on ace. Anyway, four mistakes and you're out. And on a good pad, it's rare for me to even miss one step on this. And that goes for doubles as well. Well, I miss sometimes on doubles, but... Man, I miss doubles. really changed in the later DDR songs. Sometimes I feel a bit old and ranty. And there would be one of my misses right there. And another. I just want to get that heart rate rising without playing horrible boss songs just yet. <sighs> Alright, uh, Gyoka is saying what's so special about doubles. You take two of these dance mats, you stick them together, uh, together side by side, and you have to play with eight arrows. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Man, these songs are too unfamiliar to me. Let's back out to familiar territory. feeling today. Uh, there's no escaping the weeb, sadly. There's nothing particularly special about the song Ecstasy. Apart from having two of the longest pauses in any DDR song. You can pour yourself a cup of tea during the downtime in this song. And the bar wasn't completely useless for me. I'm not a bar player, I never was. And I never will be. But during this song, when we had the second freeze, I like to run around the machine and leapfrog the bar onto the jump. So I'd come off, run around, Run up to the thing, leapfrog the bar, and land on that. That was a 
much younger Jake, though. <sighs> An easy double A, though. Ecstasy is an easy song. You'd think when I could just play whatever, I'd pick only the awesome songs, but with so much stuff to filter through, it's not an easy thing to do. Oh, hell no. Do you want only challenge mode songs? No. Heavy and challenge are both fine. Hell, even standard is fine if it's particularly brutal. But usually songs are only difficult on standard mode because of the speed. Um, wonder if I have an example of that. Yeah, In The Groove 2 would have one. Heck, In The Groove 1 probably has one. Energizer is not such a song. The Vertex. Ah, screw it, I'm playing through these just to show an example. But let's play an ITG song. Oh, I've played Osu Revelation 77. The fact that it's in the past tense should, uh, should show us a lot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's play you. I imagine a lot of people watch and they don't understand what makes a boss song a boss song. It's just a wall of arrows to most people that watch. The easiest thing to pick up would be, oh, the arrows are particularly fast in this song. So, here's a fun game to play at home. This is my favorite game on heavy mode. We're going to play it on challenge mode after this. And you might see the difference between uh, a difficult song and a boss song. I mean, the lines are completely arbitrary. I'm the one deciding what's a boss song and what's not. My general rule of thumb is, if it was a ten-footer on the old system, it's a boss song. But the new system blurs the lines, it goes from 1 to 20. Old songs have been reduced in uh, difficulty or raised in difficulty. Max 300 is now a 15, but Max Unlimited is a 16 and a half. It's a bit bleh to me. Which is where I use the ultimate arbitration and just say, if I say it's a boss song, it's a boss song. They hurt. <sighs> so that felt like an eight or a nine footer song to me. It's probably rated as seven. <laughs> it's rated as a six. Yeah, that's a whole load of croc and crawlicks. Anyway, this is the same song, but in boss form. Of course I would, Hamster. The difficulty rating, as in heavy, standard, expert, challenge, whatever, that's meaningless. All that matters is a foot counter. Alright, same song, harder mode. I'm not even sure I'll clear this one. This took a lot of training for a ten year younger Jake to beat. <laughs> Probably more than that. Probably 14 or 15 years, good god. All right, I better hope that I'm all warmed up, because this is the real deal.
Okay, out of breath already. Those mines are deadly. Do not touch! <sighs> okay, the hard part's coming up. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Ha! 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 And that is what sets a ball song apart. Or something a bit more regular. <sighs> okay, that was uh, that was pretty brutal on the everything. Hmm. And to think if this was endless mode, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this break. It would be straight back into another song. Potentially another boss song. Let's chill out. With pretty much anything easier. Now, let's go back to Ace and find something. A lot of the songs in my DDRA playlist, this one here, are uncharted ground for me. I recall this song being a trap. Hold on, where's fire? Fire's fun. Hmm. Jake, have any of these DDR skills translated into real life dancing yet? Well, the only kind of real life dancing I do is Kaylee dancing. I can't say I've noticed any overlap. But I've Kaylee danced a lot longer than I've DDR danced. Scottish children. Or at least Scottish children from as far north as I am. Learn Kaylee dancing from pretty much as soon as they can walk. I'd have to have Dark Young chip in for Ayrshire. I remember.
May just be a wee bit winded after the boss song, oh yeah. I think my body, after all the endless runs, is expecting to keep moving, rather than just stop after a song. Any chance of some of the new Trip Machine songs? We can check them out. Ah, uh, Trip Machine. We're still on ABC here. Means we should probably go back to ABC. And go to T. T E, T H. Lots more T H. T O. L M N O P Q R. There's a lot of duplicates because I have so many song packs, but. This is Nanoglider. It looks sinister. Mm hmm. What else do we have? Climax, Climax X Special. I can't even count those arrows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I might not even count it that right. Fortunately, it tells me here. A 14, huh? I'm not sure if this goes up to 19 or so. Hmm. Trip Machine Phoenix is a 15.5. On Expert. Hmm. Can't help. <laughs> Can't help but notice that the BPM changes. By a hundred percent. All right. Well, let's have a cautious probe at it. There is not a lot of metal camphor, but there is some. Two, one, trip start. Okay, there. That beat threw me like hell. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was all offbeat stuff. Maybe this one's suddenly less uh, intimidating looking. Yeah, Alpha Game was on the money. A lot of these would be doable, but I'm looking at them completely blind here. Whew. Always a heavy hit to lose a song. Hmm. So 
have a better look at you. And I slow it down to study the step patterns for a bit. Clint Pone is seven saying it's a sixteen point seven. Well now. It picks a second step where your foot ends up. you up. That is a rough song. Super rough. Hmm. Oh man. Let me just take a seat for a moment there. Holy moly. It's a different kind of punishing on the body. When it's a few boss songs back to back compared to just a long stream of random songs. Maybe I underestimate just how much energy I get back from doing even regular difficult songs, let alone the break songs. Whew. That song is nasty. I would need a lot of training be able to scrape a win. And I hate to say it, but some speed mods would help out a lot with that. I've been trying to wean my off I mean yeah, wean myself off speed mods. Because I do see them as a crutch. But reading steps is hard. Reading steps when they're tight together, fast and you're tired, is hard. Imagine doing it in the third hour of Endless, says Dark Young. When we say the third arrow, the third hour, we do of course mean between two hours and three hours. Stella Sinister on Single Expert. I see. Stella, S-T, S-T-R, 
Nope. The BPM changes between 110 and 180. At least we know. This BPM change is going to have me worrying. Not halfway there. It's not that bad on boos and misses. <sighs> okay. Uh, Monk wants more piano pieces. Okay. Let's see if we can find kick in there. Uh. And here I was thinking it would be here. Kakume, yeah, that's it. I guess I got it wrong there, but still. I don't know what, which uh, mix it's in. Huh. It's a freaking song. This is nice because I can. Oh, it was right here all along. It was just in Chinese. I can disguise resting as trying to find a song. This one also has a BPM change, but it's uh, it's no boss song.
no doubt that beautiful piano music being ruined by the scuffing of my shoes here. thinking about how my heart feels right now and that's after not a lot of boss songs oh boy going for that boss song target it's going to be harder than I'm giving you credit for Best thing that could have happened is I'd encountered those boss songs in my last endless run. Especially since we'd already cleared Unlimited. Strong. I'm gonna bring it down a touch. Right, what else we got? Paranoid Hades is on the list, and I haven't heard it before. Sure. Paranoia have so many songs. Just look at the scrolling I gotta do to get through all the Paranoias. Granted, I have a lot of uh, dupes of them, but it's still a lot of different ones. Paranoia Survivor is generally the one I use as a boss song. But it has an advanced form called Paranoia Survivor Max. It's extremely similar, but it's 20 BPM faster and the ending is prolonged and more difficult. But even it has an advanced form, Paranoia Survivor Max Oni, which has more jumps, more everything. For the longest time it was the hardest DDR song in existence, and the gold standard of a great player. I would have cleared this before, a very long time ago. I don't think I could do it now. Then again, I'm supposedly in my DDR peak, so... Maybe we'll have a look at it later on. Regardless, the one I asked for was Paranoia Hades. Max, Casey... Oh, Casey E.T. we never see. It's not a difficult song. But it got to be one of the nine-footers on Dancing Stage Mega Mix, the home release in uh, PAL regions. Where is Hades? Here we go. Oh, bloody hell, I've played you before. I played you on the arcade. Comes in two different flavors. Nine footer and more than nine footer. I guess we'll start with a nine footer. See what you're made of. But it changes speed between 75 and 300 BPM. I don't think this will go well. Even as a background video to show that it means- Oh!
No, that's uh, that's a bit much. Whew. <laughs> Those weren't complicated steps, but they were some of my least favorite kind of steps. Step jumps. What are you made of in harder mode? Okay, um... I wasn't mentally ready for that. I should have been. Take a drink. Have a breath. No way. That song is too much too fast for me. Let's slow it down. Can't even do it on the slowed down version, yikes. looking at me, mocking me. Well, I'm not about to take another futile stab at it, but... Good to know that's what it's made of. All Paranoia songs are fairly difficult. Most of them go up to eight or nine footer on expert mode or challenge mode or difficult mode or whatever. There's a lot of different names for the difficulty settings. Hmm. I want to play Respect, no, not respect. Yeah, respect. I'd also like to survive the ordeal.
Paranoia KCET challenge is a different one. There's a different step that has the challenge ones in it. Oh. How the hell many paranoids do you have? Oh, quite a lot. Hmm. Okay, hold that thought. I am quite suddenly not feeling so good, and I am going to stop this here and now.